god! <laughs> wow. What happened? Do you remember that? <laughs> Sorry, what's cowboy poker? Cowboy poker is with a card table, and you're in an arena, and the other player is a 2,000 pound bull. And the object of the game is to be the last one in your seat. And there's no cards That's and no chips. That's irrelevant. You want some courage? Fuck yeah. <laughs> I read that in the script and I was like, that'll be cool. That mechanical bull, like that's gonna be so exciting um, how they fake that. I know, I read the same kind of thing. I read it and I was like, Taylor, this is great. How are we gonna do that? How are they gonna and fake he's like, that? Uh, we're gonna put a bull in there with you guys. You get there and it was like, we're shooting stuff before and we're like, I was like, where's the bull? And it's like, it's just in that cage over there, pissed as hell. Like, yeah, I'd love to meet the guy who's playing the bull. Where's the guy who's gonna yeah. put the mask on like, and do the. Carnival. So we did it, we, we did it faking it, you know, making a lot of. Faces. Yeah. And then at a certain point, they were like, okay, we'd like to invite you to get very far it away. It kind of reminded me of this like, like a tornado is coming. They like tuck you <laughs> away. They like put us in the barn and were like, whatever you do, you can't come out of this barn. <laughs> <laughs> don't peek, don't open the barn. You're going to hear screams. <laughs> There's going to be people knocking on the barn door saying, let us in. We're in trouble. Please help us. <laughs> you you exactly. cannot let like, them you in. You cannot. Shout out to Duke. To Duke. Whatever Tamea's you're doing. Woman who plays Avery in that scene. The next day, Dude, she's God at craft services. Her. And everyone's like, are you okay? What, did it hurt? And she, her line was, you know, I looked in the cowgirl handbook to see if I could cry. And answers no. There was no crying, so I did. <laughs> yeah, check the cowgirl handbook, said I can't cry, so. If you think actors have egos and personalities that need to be managed, animals are like, yeah. as equally as much, if not more. Yeah. They're angry. No shit, they're angry. The animal wranglers, and stunt performers on the show are the best in the business. Yeah. They've got to deal with us. What are you dipshits doing? And the animals. <laughs> and yeah. put the two together. clowns together. Duke kept talking about how it was a good bull. The bull hit her the, you yeah, know, the like right the, way, yeah. The bull hit her the right way so that she walked away. They control the variables as much as they can. It's, 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 it's a big job. Uh, take seven. You guys want to get drunk, you go down to the bar. You guys want to get drunk, go to a bar. And then, of okay. course, we go, great. That's a great <laughs> idea. Excuse me. You want to dance? Sorry, man, we're having a conversation. I didn't ask you to dance. I asked her. Answer is no, buddy. You I think know, feeling you invincible. Got a chippy. Yeah. yeah, didn't you? He was hitting on Avery and sort of being an asshole. I think that the experience dealing with that bull, also spending your all your time surrounded by the biggest, toughest cowboys you know, yeah. makes you feel invincible. Yeah. Yeah. off. The yeah. editing on that piece was so good. It's like, oh, shit, they can't touch us. We're in the Yellowstone. We're with the Yellowstone. No one's gonna mess with us. <laughs> you get knocked well, out, it, it and then it's like, like oh my god, yourself. again? Yeah. We start feeling ourselves, and we really feel like, you know, everywhere we go, we can just yeah. do whatever we want. And then you kind of get this very quick reality check. But the reality is, too, that if we were there with Rip, they wouldn't have gonna, touched yeah, us. Nothing, you know? Yeah, nothing, yeah, exactly. Right, exactly, yeah. we had just a little too big for our britches. Yeah, yeah. we just overextended a little if, bit. Yeah. Of course, Rip comes and saves us with... And handles it. A bull. <laughs> yeah, exactly, brings the bull. Got it, just uh, put that one in there. Yeah. This is the Lane Pulsator 4 electronic bull ejaculator. For artificial insemination. Yeah, that's low man's work. Low man is a... Just to, like a moniker for the guy who has the worst jobs. The Lane Pulsator 4 electronic bull ejaculator for artificial insemination. Whatever the crappiest, most disgusting, foulest, hardest work uh, is for the newest person because they haven't worked themselves up like the private. Who's low man? Are you still low man? Can't be. It's arguable because people, can, I'm like, by the time, a lot of new people are out there. I think Gilligan do it. Get on the horse, Jimmy. Crank this thing until I tell you to stop. Don't you let go. Hey, whoa! Now let's go. We ain't got all day. Yeah. But the, I think uh, that they've all yeah, done cowboy fair. work before, so I think by proxy, it just you just haven't put the time in. I think Low Man is also just like time. Also, low Man is an idea. <laughs> Yeah, it's a yeah. theory. Low man is a state of mind. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they taught that in the cowboy yoga. You're trying to find your cowboy low man. Cowboy yoga, exactly. I might not be man. low man in here, yeah. but I'm still low man 
here. In here. Yeah, it's all about finding your own man. Finally got to third base, Jimmy. I did not expect this. This I read it in the script, and I was once again like, oh, I wonder how they'll fake that. <laughs> and they didn't. <laughs> they didn't fake it. Hey, Jimmy. Don't worry, there's only about 60 left. 60. <laughs> Me and that cow still in touch, still talking. Which is great. It wasn't like great. a one time yeah. thing. Yeah. You know, so you could really just kind of dig in there and find some feelings. I think you make him nervous. How's he doing? Finally found his calling. It's also like everybody's got jokes on a day like that. Like everybody wants to throw a line in. Like right. I like, that I, like, third base line was not yeah, that in the script. Yeah, that shit wasn't scripted. I don't think Lloyd's line was scripted. Yeah. It's like I stick my hand in that cow's mm. and then everybody's like, uh, "Excuse me, what if I said <laughs> this?" I'm like, "All right, great." Everybody's got dunks when it's that's, that's an fun. easy target. I'm over here with my arm. I'm like, "Listen, if I could, it's hard to have a comeback from this position." <laughs> Surprised John Dutton didn't walk away and like throw something yeah. official. Yeah. You look stupid. Thank you. So a moment when you get sent the script that you kind of sit down and you just read it because you're like, you know something crazy is going to happen. <laughs> like for me, I know if it was in Utah, I would draw a bath and um, put some lavender oil in it and uh, read the scripts. Yeah. Really cowboy. It's very cowboy of you. Yeah, but like also exfoliating. Good for the skin. Cowboys exfoliate. Yeah, no, exactly. So yeah. Do they? I just thought I'd throw that in there. And like after how like, how the stakes were so insane in the first season after how like every episode has like a gunfight and like an explosion. Then to see how in the second season, script after script, it like it continues to escalate. Yeah. You get to the point where every time you open the script, it's like page one, the charred wreckage of a blind. <laughs> it's like, <"F> <laughs> Well, yeah, because you never <laughs> figure out like how high it can go. Yeah, it just kind of yeah. keeps going up. Page one, six helicopters fly in a tight <laughs> formation over the Empire State Building. How did they get to New York? A mushroom cloud. <laughs> what? <laughs>